a good start, and then... That's it. <laughs> <laughs> well, that wasn't my, my question, but what... Can you talk us through what happened? I don't know, actually. Uh, like you said, I think I started pretty well. She was not playing the best, for sure, in the first couple of games. She gave me some mistakes, but uh, I think it was huge, the game for 4-0. Um, for uh, to go double break up would be, I think, um, not for sure, but pr most probably my set, the first one. Yeah, but I think she just plays always good against me, so I don't know where it's really the problem, but I need to change something uh, maybe for next time, even though like I had 3-0, there were some chances it could be different if I would make it for 4-0. I don't think I was playing that bad after, I'm just going through the rallies, but I think she's just reading my game um, pretty well. My serve is not that effective on her. Uh, she returns pretty well. She's strong on the backhand side, so I think there's a couple of you know, moments and points where I can for sure play better, um, but I don't think I did something that wrong. Um, yeah, maybe just the big points I play uh, bad against her, so, and then it's changed quickly because I think all the matches were pretty similar, even though we went three sets, or I just have the feeling that it's similar. Even in practice, when we practice, I just like feel she just likes my game. <laughs> You, you get that sense even when you pra when you I know you practice together before the tournament. I have the same feeling in practice. Yeah. yeah. Just is it just pressure that her speed pressure or is it? Uh, I don't think she has any speed. I think she's just using my speed. So that that's the problem. So I just uh, I try to play fast, but I think she likes this. So she doesn't have to give any power for for like into her shots. So she's just use my speed, and that's why. And then. In the end, I'm the one who is running, so it all doesn't make sense. I don't. Know. <laughs> yeah. at, that, at that key point at three, at, at three zero, um, you seem to have a lot of net courts go against you. Um, did, yeah. you did you feel all that? Did you feel like it was everything is against me? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, obviously it was. Uh, it was the game after on my serve, so uh, could be different if it goes back on her side. It was two thirty all or deuce, and, and I made. She made two uh, net calls. I made few on my side. So, but I don't think this was really the problem. It was just one game, and uh, but this kind of like break me down a little bit even more after what I lost this game. Is there anything that you? you I mean, you're joking that nothing's gone well for you at this tournament. Is there anything that you can take out of the swing that's positive? Uh, well, look, I don't want to be that negative uh, because I lost in quarterfinal, which is um, still the best result here at this tournament for me. So um, obviously I wanted to go and I thought like I can go more far, but uh, she's one of the toughest um, opponents for me um, still in the tournament here. So maybe next time I can be more lucky with the, with the draw. I think the draw was uh, kind of tough for me with having the two checks in a row, uh, especially Barbora. I think the match also cost me some power, not only because of her, but also because we finished so late. So. I think maybe if I would have a little bit more power, I could go more release or, well, you never know. So we are just, you know, talking now, but uh, I'm fine. I think uh, I played some good matches uh, also in Brisbane. So for me, it's important that I started uh, the year with a couple of matches, not to lose in first or second round. That will be tough to go into the year to continue. But like this, I feel like it can be only better. Carolina. Do you feel like that late finish against um, Barbara sort of affected your chances today? Like, How long does it take for you to get to sleep after a match that finishes so late? Well, I don't know if it would change the match. Probably not, uh, because I, f I was feeling fine or nobody's feeling um, after 10 days of playing every day, like 100% ready and, and fit. But uh, I went to sleep at 7 in the morning yesterday, so I don't think that's... Um, I think just uh, this late night matches, they should cancel. With her and obviously Kerber's in the semifinal as well, Wozniacki as well. When you talk about being a power player, playing against those types of counterpunching, more defensive-minded players, what makes Halep different? What, what makes her different than a Kerber or different than a Wozniacki or Svitolina? Um, I think it's pretty similar just against her. I have, well, Radwanska, we know the record against Radwanska, right? <laughs> um, yeah, I think it's pretty similar, all of them. Um, maybe if I, well, for me, Kerber and Wozniaki is still better uh, than Halep because I feel like 
um, the game just with the forehands, what they have. I know Kerber is lefty, but uh, when I can really push, I feel like I can have some points. But I feel like with Halep, she really likes this game when I push. And that's what I said, like with the speed that she doesn't have to make any, any you know, any power to, to put in the shot. She just is using the speed. That's what I feel like. Um, let's say with Caro, I think she doesn't like my game also that much. Like still, she beat me a few times, but I feel like there is always a chance against her. Uh, although she's serving much better, um, some of the shots are better, but uh, for me, I, so far, Halep is the worst. So uh, I just pray she's not in my draw next time. <laughs> uh, how do you see Caroline was next chance to, to win this tournament? You have tough battles uh, against her last year. How do you see her chance to win her first Grand Slam? Well, I think she has a chance for sure. Uh, I think she's going to make it to final. Uh, I would not. I don't bet anymore because uh, you remember last time when I bet my house. <laughs> uh, no, so I don't bet anything, but I'm sure she's going to take care of the match, what she's going to have tomorrow, of the semi final. And then in final, it depends who's going to be there. I think if Kerber is there, it's going to be tough for her because she has the experience of finals. She won the finals. But uh, on the other hand, if Halep is there, I think Caro can handle the nerves maybe better. So I think it's open for sure. She's one of the favorites now.